Hey John, so uh, I'm gonna start with the first uh, first issue. Um, I seen the article. It was NPR issue. I mean, um, it was one of the issues where if Fox accepted Disney. If Fox accepted Disney's offer, they would have to give up 22 sports broadcasting networks. Um, I think this could be a problem. I mean, consumers would. I think consumers would care a lot because. Uh, People that use Fox Sports apps or anything that's on their phones or anything of that sort uh, for these networks, um, if Fox Sports sells these to a different company, then the consumers will obviously have to buy it, then that company that they sold it to to see the sports or a different company, and they would lose you know what they've been using. Um, I think another issue that popped up uh, as well is that if Disney is uh, is owning everything that we consume uh, and that you're watching then you have to obviously be careful um, of knowing that this company can be biased um, because you don't have different sources and uh, you don't uh, have a bunch of different sources. So you could, you need to be careful uh, as well as who the owners are. That could be a big clue um, to who, who the owners are. Um, uh, another issue for the next part was the China um, China to approve the deal because of it had a big growth market for Disney. Uh, China approved this deal with without any relation or conditions, um, and that led people to believe that um, China was basically just trying to find a way out, uh, or trying to find China was finding a way out um, from using Disney uh, as collateral damage in case of a, a trade war, you know, with the U.S. or something like that. Um, Two other articles that I picked to use as well um, were uh, right here, where it says AP article, uh, one of them, the AP article uh, about the Super Bowl, um, which I thought was very interesting. It said that uh, it was only seen by 100.7 billion people, um, and that was one of the lowest in the past uh, decade um, that have been watched. Um, and a lot of people were upset about uh, the Saints game and how it turned out. So this was a big reason why people didn't watch the Super Bowl. Um, as well, um, Saints game is why people didn't want to watch the Super Bowl. Uh, according to the New York Times and Washington Post, um, people also said that the Super Bowl was boring. Um, another reason why... Uh, Super Bowl was, they said the Super Bowl was boring because they were tired of the same team being in it. So that would include the Patriots. They were tired of seeing the Patriots every time in the Super Bowl. And um, another big one they said this time with, for the Super Bowl was with the Rams being inside of it. They said that it was very. Uh, it would be a very. It would be a very. Sorry about that. It'd be a very boring Super Bowl to watch because of the Rams being in it. Um, because the Rams' offense isn't as good as uh, a lot of teams that were in the NFL, like they said, the uh, Saints, who should have been in it. Um, another interesting fact uh, is that um, streaming for CBS uh, actually went up for the Super Bowl. Uh, it went up 31% from the last year, and that was the main thing that they focused on. Um... They had a 5% drop in viewership the last year. Um, and that had to do with the tired of seeing the Pats and the Rams. Uh, and the same thing, doing the same Super uh, The Pat Patriots doing the same one. And the, the Patriots being in the same Super Bowl and the Rams not have uh, not having a, a good offense. Ad spots actually went up um, $5.2 million. Or that's how much they cost to do an ad spot. It would be $5.2 million, roughly. Um... The AFP article uh, focused mainly on Tom Brady and the Patriots, uh, and basically how players' uh, performances were uh, were um, more than more than like more into sports than anything. Um, I think that you know doing that, like the AFP article, focuses on them and doing more well, sports. I think it just gives people a different perspective of covering um, and how people, people can cover different areas, including sports. I think that's a good idea for, uh, the generations to come for reporting. Um, and that would be it.